Hey, what's up everyone? Very quick channel update for you here, and this really should be a quick channel update. Also, bear in mind, I'm kind of tired of shit right now, so if I don't sound quite as lively as usual, that's why. Now, a couple of things I want to cover, and it's pretty much entirely Dark Souls related, so if you don't care about Dark Souls, there's probably not going to be any information here that you care about. But yeah, so... You may remember last channel update I mentioned that I probably wanted to wait until April for the Scholar of the First Sin version of Dark Souls 2 to do a Sorcerer run. Well, I changed my mind. A couple of reasons I changed my mind. First of all, I just suddenly realized, you know what, four months is a long bloody time. And second of all, I was like, I, this is probably going to be my last opportunity to play Dark Souls 2 in its current state, if you will, the current version. So, you know, if they really are going to be messing around with enemy placements and AI and rebalancing the game and all kinds of shit like that, and, you know, anything else that they change in the Scholar of the First Sin version, this is my last chance, really, to record the current version. And I want to get that done, so... Even though, as a walkthrough, it might end up becoming completely redundant, because they might change a lot of stuff, I still want to do it. So, yeah, I think it'll be interesting. And the way we're going to handle it is... We gotta do a sorcerer run on regular game. I know, boo, regular game, we've already seen it, but it's a sorcerer. It's gonna be different. Also, I know what I'm doing now, and that's a bonus. Plus, I'm gonna be summoning people just for shits and giggles, so it's gonna be fun. So it's gonna be different, but we're not gonna do absolutely freaking everything. We're not gonna super bum rush through everything either. It's not gonna be a speed run, but we should get through it pretty damn quickly, especially compared to my blind run. So yeah. We're going to do that, and then we're going to immediately go straight to New Game Plus. There's not going to be any break whatsoever. It's going to be regular game, boom, back to back with New Game Plus with the same character. So that way, if people only care about New Game Plus, it's not going to be long. It's certainly not going to be until April, so it's still going to be much quicker than waiting until then. And yeah, just more Dark Souls too. Speaking of Dark Souls, a lot of you may be aware that they've just released a Steamworks version of Dark Souls 1 on the PC. That's important for a couple of reasons. One, it means I might be able to actually play the bloody game now instead of having it just break every time I try and launch it. And two, uh, I believe the game might be more moddable now. Because I just saw a tweet from PC Gamer that mentioned that you can now play as Artorius in like a debug version of it. I don't know, I want to check that out. And yeah, I also do plan to do a Perma Gravelord run of Dark Souls 1. I don't know if I'll be doing the aggressive AI thing as well because that seems like a little bit too hardcore. But maybe we will, I don't really know. But yeah, so that's a plan. We're going to do a uh, regular game as a Sorcerer Dark Souls 2. That will be starting not immediately, but very soon. Going straight into New Game Plus. Again, same character. When we finish up with that, assuming Bloodborne's not out by then, I doubt it will be. I don't think it's going to take me until freaking March. Probably going to be much quicker than that. And yeah, then we're probably going to jump straight into Dark Souls 1, do some, you know, messing around with the whole Artorias stuff, whatever else might be available at the time. Probably do the Perma Grave Lord thing. So yeah, it's, that's pretty much the plan. Even if Bloodborne's out of the time, maybe we'll do Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1 at the same time. I don't really know. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. As always, follow me on Twitter at MrAndersonLP. And I'll see you next time.